Are there shadow people that are up here? Did it get cold right here? Did anyone else get cold? You started talking about the dark thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the basement's like breathing. Yeah, that's why I was like, but at the same time, it's like completely silent too. Like there's no noise down there. Welcome to the sub basement. It was actually picked up and, and sort of pushed over and levitated and then dropped. jobs around the opera house. He shows me that he's like the usher and he helps seek people, but people didn't think of him as very like high, like they didn't think of him very highly. So he is kind of like a fly in the wall. So he knows all the secrets. Who's driving? <clears throat> yeah, there's also the mayor guy or somebody who's like the mayor. Cause he showed it me he's like the man from Monopoly. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Sure, he's hilarious. You probably wouldn't shouldn't hide all of your like weird forms for the city in a haunted location, you know? Yeah. The ghost might screw with you. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like someone must have died on the property. Um and I don't know if it has something to do with your neck. Because I told Liv I feel like someone might have like hanged themselves or something like was strangling them. There was and then when I told her that, now my neck feels better, so. Mm. Yeah, when you said that, all I saw were shoes, but it's from like the 1890s, 1880, 1890s maybe. So, I don't know if that's a thing, but it really freaks me out because the other day I was feeling like that too. Well, you know. I really hope we see some cows. I really love cows. That's what it's like being in Ohio. Oh, everything that we're saying is right? No. No, of course not. No, why would it be right? Are you kidding? I probably need to put an SD card in this, don't I? Am I recording? I think I am. Ooh, that's cool. Guys, I got my new camera. Wasn't that fun? So we are at the Twin City Opera House. Oh man, there's someone sitting next to me already. Anyways, they like pop in and then pop out. Almost like they uh, don't necessarily want to say too much. There's an old man sitting next to me though. He like looks more like a vagabond. <laughs> it's very interesting. Anyways. I am behind the scenes, kind of, because Em and everyone went up those doors to uh, go on the tour, and I am not going to go on the tour so that I don't have any information. Instead, I'm going to sit here behind the lovely counter with all of the snacks, because uh, I'm a snack, and <laughs> uh, write down some information. I'm sorry, it's really funny. He did not get the snack joke. Okay, now he gets it. I'm sorry. It's really funny. Anyways, we are here in Ohio. We traveled all the way to get here and uh, we're at the Twin City Opera House so it's gonna be exciting. I feel like there's a lot of very nice people that haunt this place nicely. So let's see what I write down and what uh what the night holds. We're gonna be here till not eight, not even not 3 a.m. 4 a.m. so uh yeah it'll be fun. Let's see what I can figure out. 
It's almost like it's like the the basement's like breathing. Yeah, that's why I was like. But at the same time, it's like completely silent too. Like there's no noise down there. Yeah. You know what? I can ruin it for you, but I'm not going to. Yeah, he's really he's really like <laughs> excited that he knows everything. <laughs> I did a lot of research in the past three days because I had no time to do it before. <laughs> it's interesting. She's already picking up on stuff there, so, so that's good. And she's right. On the yeah. way here, right? She's right. She, wasn't even, she is. Absolutely. So. Said, do research. Oh, she was talking to you. said what? They said do some research. God I did some research, and on the way here, they're telling me everything I already knew. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. So it's, it, 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 it's fun. Uh, especially when you have somebody on your team with the abilities that can help make it so that the um what you're seeing feeling or hearing they can say well yes that's there you know and it's like you know and they, they pick up on it and say something you're going i knew that you know now the four corners that we have here in mcconnellsville you've got the opera house on this corner you've got the um the monroe Ca or the morgan county um courthouse on the other corner across the street diagonally you've got the um the hotel and over on this side, it's closed now, but that was the Bluebell Diner, which was the local diner. Um, there are tunnels underneath the entire square, okay? Those are all closed off now. They've all been blocked out, so we can't get into them. Um, they, with the location, the fact of the tunnels and other known history of the area, they believe that it may have been part of the Underground Railroad. There is no proof on anything like that, but it would make sense when you look at the, the map of where they came down through and you know the, the primary routes were. Um, the Opera House, um, like I said, still has movies. The movie finished up tonight at 8, 8.40 or 8.30 or something like that. And then it was a kid's movie, so there was popcorns everywhere. So <laughs> um, a lot of things happen here. Um, and I see you looking around and I see where you're looking at. Because you're picking that corner right there, the, the door. What's over there? Uh -huh, the doorway, yeah. I see someone like walk that way. Mm -hmm. What's over there? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yeah. She'll pop her head out or whatever. They'll, they'll, you'll see shadow figures looking out from over there. So yeah. that, that's normal. Okay. Oh, okay. It, it, yeah, it's normal. Uh, don't know exactly who that is, but we've seen them here before. The players that you have here, okay, you have two little girls. One is, they're both about nine or ten years old. Um, one is Elizabeth and one is Sarah, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, um, Elizabeth, her mom was Victoria. Okay, Victoria was one of the people who performed on stage here re regularly in the early 1900s. Okay, Victoria was over here. She met Robert, who was the stagehand, and he hangs out up in the uh, up in the catwalk. Um, anyway, uh, they met, and you figure 1900, they had an affair, and that's where Elizabeth came from. Okay, which was not a good thing in those days, you know, for the child, you know, because it wasn't like it is today. Um, so anyway, Elizabeth was up here performing one time. Elizabeth or, or Victoria was performing. Elizabeth was sick and was over at the hotel. And, you know, Victoria left her to come over and perform. While she was over here, Elizabeth had a high fever and died. Okay, so she stayed here. Her best friend, Sarah, who was about the same nine or ten years old, um, was um, very, very distraught about that. Now, Sarah lived to be 92 years old, I think is what we tracked it back to. And then she left, or when she passed on, she came back here to be with her best friend. Okay, mm -hmm. So you're going to see that. Um, Robert it was the stagehand. He hangs out up in the catwalk. You might see him down in the basement. Very rarely in the basement, though. Um, Everett was the front of the house, usher and all that. He's here occasionally. We don't see him too often, but he's here sometimes. Um, and then you've got, uh, and then you've got Gloria. And I forgot to ask Gloria if she was here tonight, but she, uh, Gloria is um, Sarah's mom, and she came back to protect the girls. So that's sort of the the people that are here, okay, that we know of. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What does the usher look like? There's a picture of him out here on one of the walls. Okay, yeah, he he was he was in his in his fifties. You know, of course, short hair. You know, he was the, the usher in the 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 forties and the fifties, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So just picture a little old man looking like that. You know, that that age. Yeah, and then the woman that was the mother. Uh huh. Is she brown hair? Mm hmm. Well, okay. br brownish red. Okay, yeah. she's red. Okay. Got you. And, and how'd she dress? I always see this person that they. Uh, explain if you've ever watched harry potter they explain her to be like the 
lady, the Ravenclaw lady. The one that's like a ghost now. You're the Grey Lady. The ghost of Ravenclaw Tower. I do not answer to that name. Okay. Her hair's kind of like yeah. dark and it's kind of like straight but kind of curled. Okay. Um, but she is in a dress. Okay. No, that's the same well, well, picture early 1900 stage dresses. Could it be something like that? Is that like poofy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's Victoria. Yeah, like, hmm? I don't know yeah. how to explain. Yeah, it's plain clothes. Yeah, exactly. So now, you, when we get up on the stage up here, you may actually find that you hear her singing when you're up in the catwalk. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually taken a flashlight, laid it down here. There's an X that I just like to use the X because it's the same point every time. Yeah. There's nothing special about the X. But I'll turn the flashlight on and set it down. One night we were up in the catwalk and that flashlight had turned on and was spinning around. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so, so, so Victoria will do things like that. When we go down in the basement, I'm going to show you where we're going to take flashlights. And what we do with the flashlights, okay, mm -hmm. you take these and you turn them on until they just turn on and then just turn them where they're just off, okay? Mm -hmm. And then set them down and leave them, okay? Now, I, I didn't get adjusted right, but anyway, so mm -hmm. we'll put those in three places, okay? Mm -hmm. And what will happen is you can tell Sarah and Elizabeth, hey, girls, can you turn on one of the flashlights? Flashlight, like... 10 foot behind us will turn on by itself. Gotcha. Can you run real quick and turn on one of the other ones? One over here will turn on. Okay, there's a third one and it'll turn on. And gotcha. can you step away and turn them all off? They step away and all of a sudden the lights go off again. But uh, there's uh, a portal up there and when Robert is up there, you can ask questions and he loves these types of devices because you know, you'll ask, you know, okay, we asked him one time, um, actually Eric, the guy who started our program, he passed away a year ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you happen to see a big sort of gruff guy that you think could be like a police officer or whatever, sort of authoritarian, that's Eric. Okay. Every once in a while he stops in because this was the love of his life right here. And he actually lives two blocks down the road from here where is where he, his wife still lives. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, um, so he's here. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> no, no, I'm old and forgetful. So let's go, let's go do a walk around. Any other questions right now? Uh, okay. No now, this will be completely dark when we go down, or, you know, when we turn off the lights here, so. <laughs> now, now, Ellen, let me ask you, what were you seeing up there? Because I know you kept looking up there. Yeah, there's like people like standing up here looking at us. Okay. Like a couple different ones. There's a woman and a man that were like walking towards and like looking down. Okay. And yeah. The man has like brown hair and he's in a fancy like suit type thing or tuxedo type thing. Okay. Well, there's right now I know there's three travelers here that are not normal entities that are here because mm -hmm. we've got two portals and so they come they might not be here tomorrow they're just sort of ah. picture a train station oh. they come in and they come out okay and yeah, so they don't so hang it's around like, it's kind of like the stanley hotel the stanley hotel like there's a whole bunch of spirits that come in mm -hmm. because they just love the place mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. and so you know that, that's what it may be uh, could yeah. be some because i'm not familiar with the couple that that would be but that doesn't mean anything so yeah. Okay, and you guys know where the bathrooms are, so come on. Now, one thing, this, this is the stage, and as you can see, they, they're getting ready for the big, big production next month. Um, a lot of people, are, now are you picking up anything in here? I don't know, there's like weird things in here. I don't know if that makes sense. People talk about things that aren't like human spirits. Okay, like crawlers or like? Yeah. Okay. They're kind of skittery, but they also like are, they don't want to be near us. Mm -hmm. They like want to hide in the shadows. Okay, that's could be what we're seeing over there in that doorway. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah. So. Okay. So, so, I'm just going to stop certain thing. places and ask you what you're feeling. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm testing you. Okay. Oh yeah. But, yeah. So and what about up here? Oh, it's something that walked up the stairs when we walked in here. Okay. I did not see it though. Okay. Well, come on. <laughs> Let's find out. Um, a lot of times there's. Something see over shadow here. figures up here, mm -hmm. like standing here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What about over here? What do you mean? No, oh, like on mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You can hear people walking. Mm -hmm. And when you're sitting over there, you're going to hear people over here going like that walk. Okay? <laughs> oh, They're going to be walking okay. right along in here. Okay. 
So you're, you're getting it. <laughs> so, now, what I like to do is, again, I like to take my flashlight, because I'm, I'm a big flashlight guy, and I like to communicate that way. Turn it off. Set it here. Okay? And then when we go over to the side, sometimes we can ask questions, and it will turn on and off by command. Okay? So, which is cool. Okay? Um, but the, the music box, you'll actually be able to hear when you're over there. Okay, so yeah. that's why we recommend if you got something like that, make it well right. And there are four seats up here, so someone has to stand. Okay, that's the way that it works. This is Sarah and Elizabeth stuff. Okay, so if you're up here and you sit down and decide to play tea with them, they come up here. They'll come up here and visit you. Yeah, yeah. I can hear like little mm -hmm. children laughing. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I was like, why are there children yeah. up here? And we'll put. A lot of times I'll put like one of the little cat ball motion detectors in there and maybe an EMF detector or a K2 or whatever and okay, it'll well, go please. off and you can ask questions. The other thing that I'll do is I'll take one of those twisty flashlights and I'll put like one here, one there, and one there, you know, wherever you feel like. And you can use those and sit out here and ask questions and you can get them turned off there too. Now, the wine, that is for Robert, okay? Robert was known as Red Wine Robert. And the way that we found that out was way back when Eric was up here a lot and he was asking questions and you know getting answers with that the K2 meter or I'm sorry the uh, the ghost meter that I have with the orange um, getting all kinds of answers and stuff and he got an EVP of Robert that says I like red wine just like that people bring up red wine okay I'll leave that for him now I wouldn't recommend drinking that because it's pretty nasty okay <laughs> uh, but and it's been hot and it's been cold it's been here for years but um, that's what that's all about. So that's that's all Robert's stuff. Um, now, right down here, if you look, right by the edge of that, see, see where the edge of the stage is going mm -hmm. forward? There's an X, like just right in front of it. You barely see out of like yeah. old masking tape. That's where I set that flashlight. Oh, yeah. Nobody else was in the building. We're standing up here and that flashlight was spinning around right in the oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> now, you might not get all this because I've, I've investigated your probably 150 times, okay, you know, yeah. so, you know, a lot of this stuff that you're going to get here, you're going to find is going to be very light, it's going to be nice, there's nothing yeah. dark and nasty here, okay, because mm -hmm. that's not what this place is about, yeah. um, and the thing that you'll find is you'll get a lot of um, EVPs on your recordings and things like that, you'll hear the girls laugh or you'll hear Victoria sing, we can be up here and we've heard Victoria sing down there before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to debunk it because there's an alleyway behind the opera house here, mm -hmm. and you'll hear the Hondas with the fart cans driving by, okay, <laughs> you know, I'm a Honda guy, so I'm allowed to talk about them. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you can you can get some of that, so just sort of, you make sure and debunk what you're doing, but you'll, you'll, you'll get stuff, and it'll be, it'll be one of those things, like I said, you're not going to come out of here scared to death, it's not going to be like destination fear yeah. where you're going, ah, and running out of the building or nothing, you know, it's, it's not that, okay. Um... The only thing that we had here was we had, um, there was some updates being done back, I believe it was in the 70s or early 80s, and a guy was up on the top there, and he fell and got caught in the ropes and hung himself. So, did you get that? The entire drive here, I felt like there was something wrapped around my neck. I also feel like someone must have died on the property, um, and I don't know if it has something to do with your neck because I told Liv I feel like someone might have like hanged themselves or something like was strangling them. There was legit. And then when I told her that, now my neck feels better. So, mm. on my neck. That's what it is, okay? <laughs> so that's what it is. Yeah, because once I said something, it stopped hurting. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, no. Yep, yep. So, 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 so that, that's something happening. I don't know the whole story on that. I just know some of the basics. Oh, um, I'm, a, I'm a big picture a guy. I don't know all the specifics on some things, but. Um, and like I said, the latest thing has been seeing, you know, uh, the figures walking through here. Okay. Let's turn these lights off and go back down, and then we'll go down into the basement. Hit him with the shoulders, the shoulders. It's a good time. I don't know, I wrote some stuff down. You are you might want to see it. You want to see it. You can focus. That's what I wrote so far. There's a Martha, Freddy, children in a fire possibly, which it freaks me out. Um, a mistress or head of the house, a cat on the lower floors here, possibly. I feel like his life wasn't he was very short here, or like he wasn't here for very long. Um, there's a plumber man with a mustache, 
uh, an eclectic mayor, which is funny because I literally was talking about a mayor two weeks ago when Russell brought this place up to me. And uh, literally the mayor's office is like there. It's over there, right next door. It's the mayor's office. So, you know, what else do we have? We have a pit conductor who's skinny and has a mustache and he looks like the candle opera guy after he transforms from a candle opera from Beauty and the Beast. And I think there's a dog outside slash next door um, that may or may not be associated with the mayor. So we'll see. I don't know anything. I'm just sitting in here talking to my cricket friend and uh, the souls that pop in very, very fast. It's like hard to listen to one because they just like whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? It was weird. <laughs> the whole way here. You're with my necklace. I was like, that's too cliche. Well, in that notebook, I wrote down noose. Really? Yeah. Oh. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> you can sit down here and, and on the stage and see what you get there. You'll get some. You'll get some things. You know, it's like mm -hmm. it just sometimes one area is hot, and then the next night someplace else is different. You know, such so a sort of mm -hmm. just. Play it by ear. Now we're going down to the scary sub basement where the evil entity Charlie lived, right? Oh. Yeah, he's not here. He's not here. Oh, my God. Hey, Charlie. Also, as you go through the dressing rooms, if you're walking by and it's dark and you see somebody walking over there, it's just you. Okay? It's mirrors. Okay. Yeah. So, listen, don't freak out. Okay? <laughs> the next thing you got is this is where the opera house was on fire. Children in a fire, possibly, which uh, freaks me out. About five or six years after it was uh, built, um, they had, um, it was the first um, location in Morgan County to have electricity and electric lights, okay? And there was a problem with the lights or whatever, so they had, you know, they had a furnace going or they had you know, a you know, wood burner or whatever was here originally. Um, and something caught on fire and this place was going up. Nobody died in it or anything. I had, the place didn't burn completely down, but there was a lot of damage done to the sub floors. So, so, picking up anything on fire or did you? No, just this whole place comes down here. Mm -hmm. No, wait, just wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, just wait, we're going. There's a plastic spider over there, so don't freak out about that. Okay. So this is the subject. Now, if you watch the, the video stuff, they talk about Charlie. Yeah. Okay. The deal with Charlie is that Charlie is not here. Okay. In about 2010, um, Eric, who is the one who got us into this place originally, um, was in a very bad place, had problems with kids and divorce, got hurt at work, couldn't work anymore, you know, just a whole bunch of things going on. Uh, he got the deal here at the Opera House because we actually ran the old Licking County Jail too. When Ghost Adventures went there, our team was the one who was running that, okay? Oh. Um, we came down here as a secondary place, actually a third place, that we were running at the same time. Um, but Eric was just not, he wasn't his happy, normal self. Um, got down here and Charlie was down here. It's like, wow, what's that? And I've been sitting back there and you could actually just feel Charlie, just this big, huge black thing just rush you. I mean, it was just amazing. Um, Eric talks about in one of the videos how he was actually standing right in here, was actually picked up and, and sort of pushed over and levitated and then dropped. And there were people here who witnessed it. Okay. Yeah, and they were like, how did you do that? Yeah, exactly. And but that, that, that actually happened. So, so that's here. Um, the tunnels that I was telling you about are right over here. They've got them blocked up. And this is where Charlie would come out of. That's where Charlie would come out of. Well, in 2014, 2015, Eric met his wife, Carla. Okay? Things got better. And we noticed Charlie wasn't coming around as much anymore. Well, in 2021, June of, June of 2021, Eric passed. And when he did, Charlie has not been here since. So we determined that Charlie was a thought form, a poltergeist, an energy form, whatever you want to call him. He's not been here since. So that was the whole story with Charlie. So just FYI. Um, but those are the tunnels that go back under the, the four corners of the place. Um, you get a whole different feel back there if you do that. Um, what I do typically 
to get the girls to play, I take my, my little trusty flashlight and I set it. I'm gonna sneak in front of you right here. I set one of them right here, okay? Then I'll go ahead and I'll take one and I'll set another one like right over here on this one. And you can set motion detectors whatever you want. And then I'll put a third one like right over here. Okay, so they're they're far enough apart that you know, you know, jumping here isn't gonna make that move. And then we take the chairs and put them like in a circle there or wherever. And we'll sit here, and that's when we can ask the girls to turn the flashlights on. And they'll just randomly turn on and off. And just talk to them nice. They're nine or ten year old girls. They play hide and seek in here. Mm hmm. <laughs> they do. You know, we, we've done it with them too. You'll see that there's a typically, oh, where'd they put all the, they moved all the, they moved all the um, teddy bears. We've had the, the girls on our team always bring them down teddy bears. So I wonder where they put those. Probably back in here. But, um, so yeah, we use teddy bears and things like that and they'll play. Actually one team uh, with a couple of mediums set a chair there and they put, actually two chairs, and there were um, two teddy bears on them and they had one of these um, EMF detector, it was like a, a strand of them or whatever, so you could tell if things were hitting different places. And they'd tell them to turn on the one on the left and the one on the left, only those lights would come on. Turn on the right, the other one come on. Um, if you want to go into that room, you can, okay? What do you think about that room? That one's scary. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. What are, you, what are you getting? It's like stuffy. Like there's like sludgy type of energy in there. Okay. But I also see the weird black mass that was in here. Mm -hmm. It's not in here anymore. But they, my spirit guides are explaining to me that it's like, there's a lot of electrical stuff in here, mm -hmm. so it's very easy to manifest things in here. Right. Well, and not only that, if you were using EMF detectors and things like that, if the air conditioning, especially the heater, when it kicked on, um, you, your EMF would spike down here. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah and there, there's a lot of a lot of stuff like that. So yeah. Okay. Um, beyond that, over here, this is Victoria's chair. This chair magically showed up one day. Okay. <laughs> One week it wasn't here. The next week it was here. Now I know it wasn't magic. Okay, I got that. Um, but nobody would say where it came from. So one of the guys in our team is very much. Um, he's into objects. He picks up things off of objects. And he saw it with a woman. And we sat around here and basically, well, we sat around. We had a pendulum and we were asking questions. So you know, call it what you want. You know, it was it was ended up being a seance, but we didn't. I didn't realize that at the time. But you know, our medium was here with us, and we were all safe. But anyway, we asked questions, and I, I actually did a um, a hour and thirty seven minute Facebook um, live on that one, mm -hmm. and we were getting all kinds of questions and all kinds of answers. And Victoria said that she was here to protect the two girls, mm -hmm. and that's what we got from that. So. So, so you may see something here. You can feel free to sit in there. A lot of times we'll set, you know, just different devices or flashlights or whatever here, you know, as we're in here and asking questions. Um, so that's basically the sub basement. Now I want you to come out, come out here. And I want you guys to stand right over in here. When you get out here, I want you to stand still. I'm going to turn the lights off and let you see what you're going to see. Ready? Welcome to the sub basement. Nice. So yeah. It's, uh, That's why there was a weird. You'll, thing. you'll you'll find it. Your your eyes will adjust a little bit, but it uh, comes up. You know, there's green lights and things you're going to see in there. That's from the furnace. Now again, up here, what we'll do is on the white rail down there, we'll actually put flashlights. And if we're down on the stage, we'll leave them on up here, and then they'll come on and off when nothing's up here. Um, a lot of times we'll just go down and sit in a couple of different rows or whatever with the different noise-making light hoopla things and let them do whatever they do, ask questions. Is there a little boy? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Liv was saying she was seeing a little boy, but that was also in the car, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah no, there, there's, no, there's no little boy here okay. that I'm aware of. Now, could be a traveler. Yeah, got okay. you. So that, that's a possibility, but not normally now. Okay. And where did you okay. say the portal was? Oh, the portal is uh, when we were standing up there by Robert's wine. Yeah. Just to that side of his wine. Okay. And then the other one is the entryway down in the tunnels in the basement. Okay. Those are the two places. So. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Let's go turn the lights out and let you guys have fun. I really wish there's like a conductor guy that I really like. He's very bombastic. What does he look like? What do you he, mean a conductor guy? Uh, so that area down in the front of the stage is called the pit, and it's where the pit orchestra is. Oh, so yeah. when they would have live entertainment, that's where the... Oh, he's the conductor. Yeah, I was seeing a conductor guy, but I was like, that's cliche. Me, that's me, what that I thought too. No, he literally had me write the most down about him. He put pit conductor, skinny mustache, like the candle. Oh, he has a mustache? Fuck! Like the candle. I was gonna ask that man if there was a guy with a mustache. Like the candle. And I was like, that's weird. Like the candle opera man from the Disney Beauty and the Beast. Literally the most I wrote down for one person. Does he have brown hair? He slicks it back with like that stuff that makes it yeah. dark, so it looks. Black. Oh, got you. Yeah, it's dark. Sorry, mm -hmm. I should literally just use dark and light because I have no idea what anyone's hair color is. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm excited. It's really cool. Anytime, sir. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What is your name? And we're your meta sidekicks. <laughs> She's never heard it before. <laughs> so, if you guys are wondering, Can I say something? could you please say it again? We got a new ghost hunting equipment toy thing because of our oh, patrons thanks. who chose I it. Like holding hands with you. <gasps> Me too, Boo Bear. But I figured we'd start center stage because, again, I'm a Leo. I'll put it in the jar later. It's fine. And I figured since there's so many children running around that it would be a good spot for us to uh, start with the Boo Buddy. I'm sorry. I'm just seeing people. They're right? not actually there. I know. But, yeah, we're going to yep. try flashlights and the Boo Buddy because I know I feel like there's a little boy somewhere. There's also some girls, but I feel like there's other children that are a little more, like, quiet. And I just wanted to see if they wanted to play a fun game with the flashlights and the Boo Bear because... I mean, I want to play with the Boo Bear. <laughs> okay, how about we do this? Can we do the red one for yes, and then the black one for no? Yeah, you just have to be patient for the black one. Yeah, the black one's hard. Can you do the ones that are up there, or are they too hard? Even ask the parents to do the ones up there. Oh, okay. There's one mother here who's pretty one, protective. Two. Yeah, I think that's the Ravenclaw lady, because I described it to that guy. What's his name? Saya? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is there a little girl named Sarah? I forget what the other one's names are. Is oh, your mom named Sarah? Sarah? Okay. I think her name was Elizabeth. Whose name? One of the girls. Okay, you have two little girls. One is, they're both about nine or ten years old. Um, one is Elizabeth and one is Sarah. <laughs> oh, these are going to be fun. So what happens? Do I have to turn them off? Yes, yeah, so you have to press the button down and set them somewhere. And they're motion sensored, so when they move, they go off. But we're on a slant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that no? No for what? No for Sarah. Uh, maybe. Yes. <laughs> so it does take, it takes that long? to move the lights. Yeah. I think it's hard, yeah. Yeah, that one's harder. Okay, stay there. Stay. Okay. Okay, so okay. if you- Can you move that? Want to move it. Go for it. It'll be a fun time. I kinda wanna play with it. Oh my god. Oh, is that fun? That is so cool. Do another one. Uh, Hold on. Let me just, okay, let it chill. Wait for the other one. All right, you want to do it again? It's really okay, fun, okay. huh? Do this one first, and then do that one. Can you do that? No! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do too. Yeah, let's be real. <laughs> Can you turn that one off and do the other one? I heard this is stupid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Well, how do we make it not stupid? They want to go to the floor that has the toys. That's what I'm saying. 
I know I get it. Uh -oh. They wanted to do this first, but now they're like, okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, like, come on, come on. You know, they come wanted on. to see what toys we had. Got you. But they know what they have upstairs, so. Should we bring the music box upstairs? Can you try that again for us? What? Yes. Gosh darn it. Is Someone... there something in the basement? Um, is it something scary in the basement? Just turn one on if it is. Oh no, please use yes or no for me. Okay, yes or no. Okay, so yes, no. Yeah. Okay. Is there something scary in the basement? I'm letting you know right now that I'm literally gonna have child guides this entire night. <laughs> They're gonna be like, it's okay lady, it's not that scary. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being a baby. They're like, what's your perception of scary? Like, is there a non-human thing down there? Yes. Is it that weird thing that he was talking about? The dark mass? No. Okay. Is it still down there? No. Ooh. So, we are up in the catwalk right now, and- Go catwalk! You can't not say it, and I'm not gonna not do it. <laughs> they they leave a whole bunch of different, like, I don't know, stuff for the souls that are here, because apparently this is where the portal is. So, there's stuff for the little girls here, and then I believe his name is Robert. He's like stagehand, and they have wine for him over there. And then, we were told by Sam, our guide, that we should put a motion detector on the other side. So there's a platform on the other side there. And we placed our music box over there and it's a motion sensor. Do you want me to clean this for you? Is it quite in disarray? Cause I can fix it, I can make it look nicer. Lip has OCD. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah, continue. I'm sorry, please don't swear. It's oh, not Oh, can we good. have a tea party? Well, I would love to have would a you tea like party. to have a tea party? You can turn it off for yes, sorry. I'm very confused about it too. Yes! Okay. <laughs> They're okay. like, wait, uh, do I turn it off? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. Don't swear, I'm sorry. <laughs> they all have a lot of glow sticks. <laughs> Good thing you guys don't have to worry about the dentist. They feed you a lot of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Are there a lot of little kids here? I mean, now there is, I'm here. Oh, oh race cars. <laughs> or are there only like a few of you here? Turn one of okay. Turn a flashlight on if there are a lot of kids here. Can you make a noise for me? Is there only three or four of you that play up here? You can turn the flashlight on if it's yes. Princess house. They took your batteries out. That's so it's sticky. Why is it sticky? How candy. What is this? I understand why you want these like clean. Yeah. <clears throat> like what is this? Oh, oh. Yeah, it's really fun over there, huh? <laughs> Ugh. This one like moves its eyes. I'm sorry kids, that's freaky. Also, her shoes do not fit her feet. They're like, yeah, we know it's weird. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. I'm sorry. That is weird. Are there shadow people that are up here? <laughs> yeah. Are they actually people? You can turn it off for no. Oh, there's an army man in a tiny truck. Dude, okay. Wild West. So they're not. Me? <laughs> yeah, Wild West. You. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are they not people? Wait. Are they not people? You can turn it off right now. Um, are they residual energy? Hmm. <gasps> Boo buddy can have a buddy. You can turn <laughs> a flashlight on for yes, if it is a residual Ooh. energy. What? Did you say something? Did you say something? Can you say again? Are they scary things? Like not, okay, are they non-human things? Turn it on for yes. 
really dirty. <laughs> I know, I want to like go downstairs and like get stuff and clean it, you know? Yeah. Like what the hell is this brown shit? Definitely men come in here as like investigators. So this is not What the hell is this? Oh, Do you have fun. a favorite? <laughs> wow. Well, this is cool. Oh yeah, what's inside of it? Oh, it used to light up. Is there one of those like litter bouncy balls? Yeah, yeah. You still wait, does it bounce? No, it's definitely not gonna bounce. We're not gonna do that. Hey, <laughs> you guys wanna touch one of these fun balls? Cause this one's fucking not okay. Don't swear, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I apologize. Oh. Ew. It's so cute. You're all sticky. Thanks, sticky. Why is there candy here? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Oh wait, I think that's supposed to be a candle. See? Oh, I thought it was a crayon. I mean, what's the difference, honestly? <laughs> you guys have questions? Do you guys have questions? I want to know who these shadow people are, because they don't feel like they're really there. And I feel like I keep seeing things, but I don't um, see anything. It's weird. Can I ask the shadow people to do things? Do we have more friends we can play with? Or is that a bad idea? Turn it on if it's a bad idea. No, it's just you, Boo Buddy. You have no circulation to your body. Did you make Boo Buddy cold? Turn on a flashlight if you turn if you made Boo Buddy cold. She's really got pro. Are you still here? Turn something on if you're still here. Did anyone else get cold? You started talking about the dark thing. Do oh. you know what time it is? Fuck, that's why everything got dark. Okay. I'll stop. I just wanted to, okay. Did, no, did anyone else get cold? I'm like, really No, no, cold. you're correct. Yes, it did. It's colder in here, that's why that you're saying cold I'm here. cold. Yeah, yeah they're all like freezing. Yes. Yeah. It's not like asking questions when it says it's cold. I feel like all of a sudden it got cold. around me. Yes, yep. it feels like a breeze the because I asked about the dark thing. That's why they're not answering. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's why they walked away. I'm sorry. Can it's you okay. <laughs> I do. That's usually how I get through existing. That's fine. My chills going up my like spot right now to my neck. Ugh. What is this? Oh. Okay, we gotta set it up like it's a tea party. I'm sorry, guys, we don't have another candle. I could use a Twizzler. Do you want me to use a Twizzler? I could use a Twizzler. That's why everything's sticky. Well, it's already sticky. It's already sticky. Children, would you like me to use a Twizzler as a candle for you since we only have one? I mean, look, they're supposed to be There's two. There's things living in this thing, for Mommy, sure. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's yeah, so cute. You guys still here? That is really scary. <laughs> what the Everything's fine, you guys. Everything's fine. Wait. Oh, God, that freaks me out. Everything's fine. I, I didn't feel like it was... colder. No, I did. It. I could. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Literally, this thing yeah. tracks temperature. When it says it's cold, Aww, it's thanks. because I the temperature changed. I'm like, neck is freezing. I'm not even joking. Are you still here? Because I was sweating bullets when we came up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it got colder up here. Oh, here is another candle. <gasps> it was just thickened before they said See, that's why we didn't need a Twizzler. And then there's this napkin holder. Wow. You could put the bottle caps in there. I don't like the cook. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to tell whatever M talked to to go away so we yeah, can have no. our tea party. Do you want to play a game? Because our I tea don't party... want to say anything now. Is much more important than anything that could possibly be going on. <laughs> Honestly, I would like to be Mrs. Nesbitt, just so you know. So if we're gonna be having a tea party, Mrs. Nesbitt is what I shall be referred to as such. Here, we still have these really fun balls. Why don't you come sit down and we'll have a tea party and it'll be a good time. Because that's what this is about, having a good time. Wild. Here, we'll put the little puppy dog here. Okay, fine, I won't put the puppy dog there. You're like, the dog will get the dirty, the food dirty. That's really cute. You keep looking over there. <laughs> here, 
We'll put them right down there. I like music. What music do you like? Yeah, they're not over there. Sorry, I keep inviting it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone still here with us? Might want to live. Could you guys move one of the cat balls for us if you want to sit down to a tea party? I know there's a tambourine in the way. I'll move it. I'm sorry. I'll put it right here for you. I know the lights are hard. I think that the cat balls are easier if you want to try. Do you see them? No. You don't see them? I mean, I do, but they're more nervous now. <laughs> Why? Because I asked that thing to come over? Yeah. Interesting. But do you see them? There's like one that has dark hair and then one that's light hair. Or do you see them both with dark hair? Oh, last side I just got tingles and like chills. Oh yeah, I've been getting like weird chills on my arm when they were touching me downstairs. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't know if I necessarily see them. I feel like there's a, a taller girl with brown hair mm -hmm. and then the shorter one has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And the shorter one's younger. I don't necessarily see the taller one as 10, but I guess she could be 10. She just looks young for her age, I think. I really wanted the boy up to come up here and play trucks with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they only know about the girls. Cause I asked him, I asked him about the little boy and they said that they aren't unaware of the little boy spirit. Uh -huh. so. Is Robert here? Now, the wine. That is for Robert, okay? Robert was known as Red Wine Robert. He's our red wine guy. He's back over there. I know, he walked forward when he said Yeah, he like, he like, you can see like the cast of the light. He like came forward in the light behind you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does he wear the color red? I don't know, but he likes red wine. Oh. I see like... him like he has a red tie, mm. but I don't know. His shoes looked red to me, but they don't, I know red, we said red earlier was brown because that bird flew in front of our car. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. He likes, isn't that what they said? Red wine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did he like the newspaper? I'm not sure. He makes me feel like that's just the time the newspaper was interesting. It's like the news. Yeah. No, he would like sit downstairs here and drink red wine and listen. Was he like a security card? Was he here like after hours? He worked. He's a stage manager. Yeah. That's why he's, he's up here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he, he makes me feel like instead of drinking coffee with his newspaper in the evenings, he would, like, he couldn't read the newspaper necessarily in the mornings because he was so busy. So in the evenings, like, after the show, he would have a, red, a glass of wine and read the newspaper in his office before he went home, and he would walk home. Yeah, he makes me feel like his job here was, like, really, like, chill. Yeah. Yeah. Not chill because he like managed everything, but it was like. But I feel like it wasn't hard for him though. Like, well, yeah, managing he was good industry, at it. He wasn't very hard either. But like, I don't know. It was like a really good job. Mhm. Mm is there a portal up here, or is it somewhere else? If there's a portal up here, can you make one of these things turn on? There's a portal up here? Jesus Christ, don't scare me. Come on. It's not scary. It is. It's weird. Oh. <laughs> it's not scary. It's one of those portals like in the Stanley Hotel, right? It's not scary. You can turn that off if it's not scary. <laughs> Make Liv feel better. Is the portal more like a train station? Is it a scary portal? Can you turn that off if it's a scary portal? Is it just there? Yeah. Sorry. He was telling me that. <sighs> so things don't like come in and out of it? Or do they? I think people come here to visit. They show me it's like the one from the cemetery. Ah, uh, okay. It's like a point of entry. Mm hmm Because the souls here are very human-like, which is weird. And they show me like it's almost like a train station type thing. Yep. Oh, and we're in a train station town. That makes sense. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. <laughs> like, uh, the thing from Harry Potter. Um, the wall. Yeah. Nine and three quarters. But on the <laughs> other side, it looks like a train station.
really funny. Oh, that's cool. Where is it? Is it through this? No, like, it's, thing? it's over, over here. here. Oh, he said it was so over yeah. there. I can is it in feel the wall, it. though? No, it's been bothering me this whole time, and I just want to ignore it and pretend it's not no, real. No, tell me about it. It feels... Yes. Yeah, it's over there. It feels fuzzy. Almost like if you were to put your hand in, like... It sounds like a dryer. You know that moon sand? Yeah. It yeah. feels like moon sand mixed with water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's cool. Sorry, they're showing things about it. Yeah, I see it on the other side. It's like the 1930s. Yeah. Because I can hear the train whistle and I can see the people walking around. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really cute. But I think we should go sit in the balcony um, because there's people over years. there. Yeah. They're telling me that we should use that uh, EMF reader. Because I literally watched him walk up here. What EMF reader? You know that thing where you had to manifest in order to like make it go off? The like thing oh. that like... Yeah. Well, do you want to do it in the balcony? Or right sure. here? We could probably do it up in the balcony. Okay. We can do that. Okay. <laughs> we'll go do it in the balcony. And I love all the people that sit over there. All of a sudden, it just got like very tense, and I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why this thing started saying I'm cold because the, the things that I was seeing over there walked over here. And it's like I knew, like I was just like ignoring that because it's annoying. Yeah. But like we my whole balls. back yeah. got freezing like, cold. Like are people sitting up in the balcony just like watching us like it's entertainment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's like a show. Yeah. They're like, haha, this is funny. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I see a woman in a very big jacket. And she has like one of those big hats on and one of the petticoats, you know? So, she has brown hair. Still with us? Mm, they're kind of scared about being over here, which is why they left. Yeah, I uh, called that thing over and they were like, mm, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> yeah, it freaks me out. It didn't freak me out, it just like shocked me. Well, you're not the one seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see it. Because when we walked up here, I saw a man. Or a figure of a man standing over here. There's like two or three of them. Two or three of them? Yeah. But they didn't feel like the man. We're going up here. I'm going to step on. Russell's side just like on his own. Yeah. Go. Um, um, you want me to go with you? Yeah, if you step out for a second. <laughs> yeah. You want me to go with you? If you want to. Oh. Are you okay, Anthony? Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. How do I get out? Um, uh, you just go door? through that far left door. And then he should be out there somewhere. There's a man who helped me up the stairs, Em. He grabbed my arm. And was like this lay, madame. What was he? I don't know, he grabbed my elbow. That's what gentlemen do. Was he, I'm not sure that worked here, or just a guy? No, he tipped his hat. He said he's just a guy. Yeah, he's not Was a there a pickpocket here? <laughs> Pick, did he pick your pockets? Well, there's another man behind me. I feel like maybe one looked nice, and the other one uh, pickpocketed people. Okay. You want to take another step back? Here? Here. Jesus Christ, you fucking scared the shit out of me, Russell. Yeah. Will we put that on the back, the railing? When I say the railing, I mean like the flat part. <laughs> hey, I don't know why the second, the second light is going on like that. So that is an EMF reader. It reads electromagnetic frequencies. Ooh, it basically is they need to manifest in order to like make that go off. And then to the left of me, we have the music box, which is a motion sensor. It's really loud up here. There's a lot of people talking. The talking just like show descendants that were down there. Hmm. Did they tell you that? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you hear things. What do you hear, Russell? I can hear like the chatter. It looks like it's like a, I mean, it's like end of part one essentially. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking, but I think it's residual. You think it blinks because people are walking in and out of it? Yes. 
Because it's not blinking, just a second ago. Yeah, they're showing me it's like uh, people are like in between things. I know it sounds weird. Mm hmm. But no. it's not like really going off. It's like a show just ended, but it's like one of the old black and white films that they were showing because all mm -hmm. of the people that are walking in and out of here are from like the early turn of the century. Yeah. They did start, they did show black and white film here. Oh, did they? Yep. Interesting. I think it was some of the first movies that they did. Yeah. Obviously. And also, we should probably introduce. Is that Janelle? Or I, did you do something? I just, I didn't do anything. I'm okay. just doing what I'm doing right now. Um, I forgot what I was going to ask. Oh, we should introduce the things. So, we're up in the balcony. And we have that EMF reader. And then this music box. I know I said that, but... The EMF reader picks up on electromagnetic frequencies, i.e. EMF. And it, Em and I think it's when things physically manifest. And it's to an extent. To an extent. But it's interesting because the way we perceive a lot of the energy here is there's a difference between active hauntings and passive hauntings or residual. For us, residual is kind of like a timestamp. If you were to have so much energy in one spot, think of it like a picture. When you take a picture, the like negative on the other side of the photo is what is imprinted once the light flashes to create the picture that's energy so residual hauntings is like a picture or a sort of like time-lapse reel for energy so when we say we hear things like chattering it's like if everybody were in here before or at the end of a movie talking as they were coming in or out which is interesting and i think that's why the emf reader was going off but since the show ended it stopped i think everyone walked out of here was there someone sitting in that chair over there? I see like an old style shoe. I see like an old woman. Was there a man next to her? Yes. And they're both old, like in their 60s or 70s? Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. Does she have a big giant fur coat on? <laughs> mm-hmm. She has a hat on too. Mm-hmm. She's really she's looking at me. Yeah, I was just going to ask if they were residual and he looked at me. <laughs> he has like a mustache, but he's bald on the top of his head. Mm -hmm. Did you make that thing go off? Look at one back up. Yeah. Because um, once that thing went off, that's when I noticed there was someone sitting in that seat over there. Mm -hmm. Like the music box. Mm-hmm. Because I thought it was came down and you weren't in front of it. And I've gotten closer. Yeah. I've also gotten closer to that and it hasn't gone off. Yeah. No, you need to be in front of it. I mean, like, I've been pacing right in here. I went orange for a second. She's sitting here. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is weird. She's like, it's okay. I can hear her talking. Yeah, she calls you Deary. Yeah. She's gone. Wild. She said yeah. she's Miss McGonagall. Yeah, that makes sense. All the spirits have been telling me about Harry Potter references all day. But we're in so. McConnellsville. McConnell. Oh, that's what you mean? Yeah. Not McDonald's, like but Miss McConnell. Got you. She might be related to the person in the building. Is there someone no. sitting next to me? Yes and no. I feel like there's a boy from the 50s. Is he in his 30s? Or is that just me? No, he's like 25. Yeah. No, he's like 25. That's not he's five 30s. years younger. I'm, I how also old am I? 13. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he like looks like he's my age. Yeah. He's wearing like blue jeans. I don't see him in blue jeans. <laughs> no? 
He's in like fancy clothes. He's not as fancy as the other people that are here. He's like, I'm not as rich. Mm. Like Elvis era. Yeah, because you can see this thing is going. <laughs> Elvis era. You want to put on your blue suede shoes, my friend? That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Can you step in front of that? That was you. He says it's people walking in front of that. It's not him. He's still a bit in between. Or like some sort of show that's like a, uh, like yellow, and it's like something with a D, like Ducky or something. Is the show that he went to see? The musical or something? He's got. Yeah. Weird. I've never seen this thing work. He says time works differently. Oh, it makes sense. It happens faster. We should time it, because it is. It's like every single couple minutes, another mm -hmm. scene plays. Mm-hmm. That's why people were walking up and down the stairs. Three minutes. Three minutes? Was what he told you? Well, my spirit guide said three minutes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I have something I was talking to him about when really? I told you about, you said you saw three shadows up there? Yeah. Travelers that are here. Well, there's, right now, I know there's three travelers here that are not normal entities that are here because mm -hmm. we've got two portals. And so they come, they might not be here tomorrow. They're just sort of, wow. picture a train station. Oh. They come in and they come out, okay? And yeah, so they don't so hang it's around. Like, it's kind of like the Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel, like there's a whole bunch of spirits that come in mm -hmm. because they just love the place. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He said it could be them as well. He said that he doesn't know what they are. I don't know what he means by travelers either. That doesn't make any sense to me. He's talking about the people that, you know how at the Stanley Hotel people go and see the shows there and stuff like that or stay because it's a fun time. My like it's Disney it. World for Yeah, but the, this is what that is. Yes. That's there what he means by travelers. Oh yeah, there wouldn't just be a set three of travelers though. That's weird. How like he's just fit? saying, like, I'm seeing people that are coming here through the portals. The children are telling me that the three things that are upstairs are like the three monkeys from church. So see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. What does that mean? That's what they're explaining to me, what they're like, which is why their parents didn't let them stay up there with us when we were talking and brought it up. Okay, what does that mean? It's just the way the kids describe it. Is uh So right now, to stop it, I'm pushing my energy out to push whatever that is out. Oh, that's scary. Yep, so I'm like... Got it. That's why they're making you really fast. Because I'm like, that's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> um. So the weird, those things that are in there, they're not people, right? Okay, I didn't think so. Because when we were up there, literally they don't feel like people. That's why I was like, are they residual energy? Like what the hell are those things? Sorry for bringing it back up. What? Sorry for bringing it back up. Oh no, you're fine. I was just freaked out. Like... It's better that we're not over there. It makes me feel less nervous. I know that they're like, you know, being an ass right now, but it's fine. But uh, yeah, that's what he said about it. You thought that they were travelers, like people? Not necessarily people. Okay. He just said travelers. Because he said there's three travelers that are here that have never been here. Really? He said they, they come in and they, they visit every now and again. Yeah. They said they, they, they come through the portal or something, or they visit through the portal. It's like a train station. They yeah. come and go and visit. I'm pushing my energy out in like white light with a ring around the end of it all the way out to where bath just past where Russell is and then past where the other end of the thing is and it's really hard to keep it going because mm -hmm. I see something over there I just saw that too 
standing at the very edge because I'm literally focusing so hard to push my energy out to keep those things out. Well, I saw something over, like, up against, like, the, the wall by that exit sign where that, like, blue light is over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's where I saw something. But I'm gonna stop pushing my energy out and we'll see what happens. Yeah, there's a man explaining to me that talking about the things when you're near them is not like how we do it in my room. Does that make sense to you? Because I hear a man's voice, because I'm asking him questions, I'm like, why is this like bad? Like, why is this different than what we do like in our, our house? And he's like, you're actually here the energy here is different. These things are here with you. They're not like remote viewing you the same way that you're remote viewing them. I know, that's why I told you. Well, yeah. So there's more of the ability of bad things happening when we're actually here. Sorry, I'm asking you who he is. Cause I've seen him before. But now I'm really confused of all the people. I thought he was Robert, but Robert's not. He's not Robert. He has, like, light-colored hair. He says his name's Harry. Yeah. Does he's... he have a brown mustache? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said that he would sit here with us to make us feel better. Is he helping me with his energy? Yeah. He has this very, like... Green energy? It's, like, slow. Because he's, like, every time you let your energy get... That thing starts going off like that. <laughs> See? Yeah, we're gonna turn it off. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, because I was asking questions like, why are these things, or what are these things? And this man stepped forward and was like, don't ask questions like that when you're here. Yeah. Which is interesting. So we should go to the lobby and take a break. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's oh, all go voice recorder before you leave. Oh, there's a yes. bat. There's two of them. I love bats. It's 3 a.m. And we're in the sub basement right now. It's 3 a.m. somewhere. It's 3 a.m. now. Shh. It's the witching hour. Liv's scared. She's on the ground. There's bats in here. What do you mean? It's literally flying right there. I'm watching it. Are you scared of bats? No, I just don't want it to go in my hair. Why would it do that? <sighs> What's down here, Liv? This is your first time being down here. My will to live. Your will to live is down here? Mm-hmm. I um, really hate basements. No. I also feel like I'm gonna throw up. I don't know if it's because I ate that popcorn. No. But they, uh... I feel like I'm gonna upchuck everywhere. There's a nice thorax right here. <laughs> they told me before that there was this like black mass okay i saw a black mass and then this the guide sam was telling us about this dark mass that they called charlie Whoa. that they thought was a poltergeist it so, tells me that it's the reflection of their fears yeah because my spirit guides explain like if you see all of this like i don't know what these things are these like pipes and like electrical, electrical stuff. Like if you brought EVP or EV EMF down here, it would probably go off, not because there's something in front of you, but because it's just so charged. Well, it's also because we're um, just down in the ground as well. Yeah. So there's more radiation naturally. But. Oh God, I used to be able to clap my hand. Clap on. No, let's not, because the bat was like, I don't know what to do. But yeah, they were, my spirit guides were telling me that, that it was just like a manifestation of the things that people are scared of down here. Yeah. Because when I first came down here, the only thing I heard in my head was, I know you're scared. And I was like, no, I'm not. Don't tell me what I am or what I'm not. I'm going to tell you what I am and not. Huh. He says he works on the railroad because he has like a railroad pick. You know, mm -hmm. but he winked at me, and I think he works on the Underground Railroad. I mean, he did say that on the tour. Um, there are tunnels underneath the entire square. Okay, 
Those are all closed off now. They've all been blocked out, so we can't get into them. Um, they, with the location, the fact of the tunnels and other known history of the area, they believe that it may have been part of the Underground Railroad. He didn't say a guy or anything. He says they used to put them, they used to hide them on the, on like the actual railroad. Mm hmm And then have them come into the town. And that's where they would, they would keep them. There were places outside of here, like out in the woods, that you'd have to get off of to get here. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Somebody, There's tunnels down here, so. Said somebody said some of these tunnels, because they go to the four corners like in the square here, but somebody said that potentially there could have been a tunnel that went and let out near the river. Okay. For, you know, for boat access or people to get on a boat. Yeah, no, they're somewhere. telling me that they would hide with cargo. And there would be like a secret like lingo to know whether or not a cargo shipment would have hidden slaves. Oh, a trail. That makes sense. I'm sorry, they're telling me about how they would come off on the woods to get here. It's a trail. That's funny. They're just validating it because there isn't anybody here to validate what I'm saying. Then who's validating it? There's a man here, and I feel like there's a woman, too, who ended up being very in, in like an integral part of the community, and she's a black woman. And I'm asking about Bluebell because I feel like her name might have been Maybell. Oh, the chair is so, is so small. I'm so small. And it all started the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that you are a devil? Okay. So, we're in the sub-basement right now. And I'm um, pretty sure the only thing that wants to talk to us down here is scary. So, we have a couple of things out. We have the EMF reader. And the music box. And then there is a flashlight here. And down here. So I think we also have a, what is that thing? EVP. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Of course it is. They're here. Not about it. Can you turn the lights off? Well, that one went off. Oh god. At the same time. Sorry, there's something that's like a little goblin down here. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's funny. Can you make the music box go off? That's harder for him. He says it hurts his ears. Interesting. He has really big feet. Why is he, he down, down here? here? Oh. Portal. Oh, he says he's the manifestation of the children. Interesting. Because we came down here and the dark shadow or whatever is the manifestation of other people's scariness and it's been bothering me. Yeah, yes. I know. And uh, I'm, again, still trying to like put my energy out to you guys, but it's different this time a little bit. Um, I'm not like moving it as far. But I saw this little like elf thing that came over and started stomping things out and I was like, well, what are you? And he's like, I'm the manifestation of like the children. And he's talking about like the ghost children. He's like the other thing that they play with. And we'll sit here and that's when we can ask the girls to turn the flashlights on. And they'll just randomly turn on and off. And just talk to them nice. They're nine or ten year old girls. Yeah, they play hide and seek in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do. That's cute. Yeah. Because the things down here are the manifestations of. Yeah, because there's a lot of energy down here. Yeah. So a lot of things can manifest because there's enough energy for it to change. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, like ge geographical and these things. If there's a little tiny elf thingy with large feet, can you turn on one of the lights, please? Hold on there. Are you not a goblin? What are you? Flickering. Oh. oh. Wild. Okay. 
What's fighting? The little goblin and the scary thing. Oh. Got you? Yeah. What about? Oh, who's gonna communicate? That's a wonderful sound. <laughs> they both turned off. Mm -hmm. This is weird. Do you play with the little kids down here? <clears throat> they play hide and seek down here? Yes. <laughs> Huh. What? Was there an underground railroad down here? You can turn off one of the lights for an answer. Hmm. Was I seeing a man over here that worked on the railroad, both the actual railroad and the underground railroad? You can turn on or off one of the lights. There are things that are hiding behind the things on, like the stuff. Yeah. I feel like I see it's like something peeking out of the wall over there. They were like hiding from us for a while. Are we scary? They said that they don't. They didn't know where we were gonna be until we sat down. They're like showing me like a moth to. Light. They're Is it because out. the other investigators are mean? Oh, that might be why. They're not actually scary down here? <laughs> They're like weird. I, I don't know how to explain it. They're not human. Yeah, it's like fairies or like goblins. Oh. What? What are those like little things yeah. that like gnomes? I don't think it's gnome. The things that dwarfs. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? There's like those things that like mine things in the ground and they're like tiny. Mm -hmm. Are you a dwarf? Uh. <gasps> oh my god. That's really cute. That's really interesting. Oh, you said dwarf. They're making me look at the stones. Yeah. Do you look like, at the sandstone? Oh, well, I turned off over here. Like, you know from um, Snow White? I think Snow White has the dwarfs. Mm -hmm. Those things. But he has the thing. Yeah, yeah, they're like stone dwarfs. That's why they're in the ground. Mm. I just saw something shiny move over there. Yeah, they're like creeping out. Oh, hey, that was you. That's <laughs> it was light went out. <laughs> I'm all about the dwarves. That's cute. Do you guys like living down here? Yes. They're both out. <laughs> if you guys enjoy living down here with the building above you, please turn on one of please the lights. Please light them up. Or both. Do you not like living down here? Is there something keeping you down here? They said no. Um, they're down here because of the tunnels. They're telling me that they helped facilitate the building of the tunnels and help people like navigate them. Um, they've uh, once you were able to see that they were behind the pillars, they like popped out more and the mm -hmm. weird scary thing is gone. Yeah. I feel much better. They're very like, like hair. loving. <laughs> it's fuzzy. Yeah. I don't know anything about dwarves besides the fan fictions that I read. And the dwarves in the fan fictions I've read like hair because they'll put fairy locks in it. And if you mm -hmm. braid your hair, it means certain things and you have to keep the braids in them. That white one. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Are they a baby? <laughs> yes. That white one. Out. <laughs> You're a baby. You're a faving of frogs? Oh my god. That's so cool. 
Oh, that is so cute. You what? guys want to like stack. Just like huddle around it? Yeah, or like stack yourselves on top of each other. They're not much taller than these boulders. Yeah, they're like this big. Mm -hmm. Am I able to zoom on them? Oh, there's like three of them right here. Mm -hmm. They're really cute. Is there that they're telling me don't call me cute? <laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> can you guys turn on the lights for us so that we can get our things together? Pretty please. So we can go tell Sam you want chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> can you turn the other one on for us too? Because we got to see the other things. I know I have a flashlight, it's fine. It's for the people. <laughs> Not that light, the flashlight on the ground over there, behind him. And you can just leave it on. Both of them, you can leave on. That one's the hard one. They're trying to rev up their energy to do it. There's one of them jogging in place. <laughs> what do they look like to you? They're a lot smaller to me. They're like this big maybe, mm -hmm. and they look like little men. Okay, yeah. With beards. Yeah. <laughs> Please, can you turn on that one? No, no, no. Oh, come on. I don't think Maybe. they want us to leave. Oh, too late. We gotta go. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to stay? <laughs> Sounds like they're indifferent. Oh. <laughs> no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I will still be in here. All right. Oh, let Sam know you want chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Spacers in here. What if I want to talk to other people? Talk about a squeeze. Don't mm. worry, I recorded the entire way here. So, what did you guys think? It's uh the next day. This is the Opera House from the outside. Boop -op. If you guys are interested in this type of content, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also let us know where we should go next down in the comments, my dude. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. You guys ready to say it? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, fuck, this is what it means to be in an outro. <laughs> you know? We are your meta side kicks. Come on, you gotta do it, ready? One, or two, three. We are your meta side. You guys, come on, you're all, you're all so white. Let's do this, come on. We are your meta side kicks. There we go. <laughs> also, these are our patrons. We reached 100 or 300, is that what it is? We might not still be at 300, but you know. If we are, we're gonna live stream somewhere. And if you're into being a patron. Well, I mean, we're going to anyways. Join us. Join us. Join us. Peace out. Sorry, I don't feel like there's anyone here. No, it's really quiet. I was just gonna say it's quiet. There's nothing unless there's. God, I fucking, why are you like this? <laughs> There's a man sitting behind us. Don't say that. What? <laughs> he, that's the person who said that. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs>